me see. Oh, oh, oh. There, no creaks. Get in the chair! Retraining Wanda. Wanda, get in the chair. No, get in the chair. Get in, get in that chair. Chaser. In the chair. Hop, in the chair. Come on. Hop, good girl. Come on. No, that's not good girl. Get her in the chair. In the chair. Come on, Wanda. Wanda. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. There will be some dog training here while we insist that Wanda do as she's told. This is a bad thing. She was not a good girl today in the nursing home. For openers, it, it, she would not take any suggestions or direction at all. No. No. It was a Wanda visit. Uh-uh. Needs a few more manners. And she just have an awful time staying in her chair. She didn't do anything bad. She just was on well, every cookie. Yeah, but she was on every cookie, and that meant that the other two, who are much bigger and stronger than she... Ah, ah, no! Get in that chair! Wanda. Do I put her in that crate? In the, in the, mm -hmm. in the... Sure thing. She is. That's what happened. You should have gotten in the chair. She's like, damn it. <laughs> that face. Yeah, the, the problem is that she's tempting the other two to bite her. Yes. And they just, they have every right to do that because she's not doing as she's told. No. And they, she would not let you give a cookie to the other two. And that was really very touchy. Mm-hmm. She's unfortunately, when they hold the frying pan like that, she's closer to the frying pan than they are and faster. I know. A but nice we, I, think, I think if we do take her again, we're going to have a harness on her and tie her to a chair leg. I don't see what else to do. Put a balloon on her. Well, well we've done that before. <laughs> and float her. <laughs> she, well, we, can, we can bring her in with a harness on with a balloon. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be hysterical. I know. We're just after entertaining these people, so whatever we do is kind of funny. Yes. Um, and there were, what, 30-some-odd today? Yes. That was a nice place. It was. It was fun. Everybody uh, was so delighted to see you back. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes, they people were. People were coming up and hugging her. Yes. And then complimenting your shoes. I know. I know. I was like, seriously? That was That's such, okay. And such nice people. They're very nice people. They're just a little, you know... Yeah, but they're happy. They're, they're very tired. They, they they sit there all day long with nothing to do. But they're so, they're very nice people, very nice staff. Nice, nice staff doing a good job. Yep. Everybody's clean and healthy and yep. well cared for and things, but there's just nothing to do. And I like the fact that we could drive right up to the door. Up to the door. Through, the, the, through the double doors and on the right, and then you were straight in. Right. <laughs> so that, that was a... That was very, very easy, wasn't it? It was very easy. No elevators, no. No. And then somebody went for a burger on the way home. Somebody did. I've, I've never been to a Five Guys burger. Have you? Five Guys burgers and fries. I, have you had them? Uh-huh. It's a great monstrous thing. I know. I ate half of it. The other half is my supper. I know. They're super. Yeah. Very, very good. I, and, and Debbie had to buy it for me because my wallet was not in the car. Oh, because it was in your back. Oh, it was in your it was in your donkey nose bag. <laughs> it was the last job. <laughs> uh, yes. So it's been a Monday. Is that what it is? It is Monday. It's only Monday. I, I think I have a lot of them. It's definitely Monday. You said that before. Yeah. Mondays are not not good. No. Sometimes our Mondays are getting back into the swing of swing of other people's routines. It's not our routine. Our routine well, I, must have been, I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. I took a shower all by myself, got dressed, and I was dressed and I was ready to go at 7. Yeah, and then I got a phone call at 6 o'clock to say there would be a two-hour delay to school. And I'm like, well, that's not convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick had to drop the girls off. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, but we did well. You got down into I'm the glad car. You're not, I'm glad you're starting two hours late, but my kids are going to be there two hours I know. <laughs> 
Maybe <laughs> have them. Don't, don't mind them. They might be a, a touch chilly. <laughs> but they were, no, all sorted. And I think our snow has gone to slush. Yes. And it's a bit icy. Yep. Yuck. Bad or worse. Yep. Not much we can do about it. Although, let's hope it's disappeared by the time Janine comes back on Wednesday. Because it is, of course, Janine's birthday tomorrow. That's true. Yeah. I'm not big on birthdays, but, but I, have, I actually have a... Nick and I don't celebrate our birthdays unless the children want a cake. So we don't really bother either. I'm very bad at remembering birthdays. Well, hopefully Janine doesn't remember either. No, I'll be fine then. <laughs> Okay. Do you want your? Do you want this stool? And I'll, where, where's our other stool? What, what? No. That's funny. I give it a shove. What oh, did you? It's behind the chair. Oh, so it is. Behind the chair, connected to all the cables. Coming down the cables. There we go. Ugh. Okay. I don't, this is a, they're looking for money. I don't want to do that. Not going to do that. Okay, this is Ms. Merle Heckmeyer, Tacoma, Washington. Ooh. We have a lot of people in, out, in that, out of that very west coast, like Washington and Omaha. Why do you that, think that is? What's that other one out there that's being the know? Oh, oy vey. Do you want that? Omaha, I don't know. There's another one out there. Okay, are you going to hang out of that and not drop it, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jazzy's story. Jazzy, who was originally named was Hope, was bought as a puppy and given as a gift from her sister. A woman who has mental health issues and lives in a complex. After about a year, she decided to give Jazzy to some homeless people. Jazzy lived homeless for about a year, spending a lot of days at the facility that furnishes services such as lunch, etc. They asked my daughter who was a counselor, if she knew anyone who wanted Jazzy. Afraid of where she might end up, my daughter called me and asked if I might take her, which I did. She was with me about two weeks, but I was not the right, I was not the home she needed to be in, so I contacted Somebody. Pet Mich finder. Michelle. Pet, pet finder. Oh, I see. Okay. Is it? Michelle and Kirk had just recently lost their Maltese and adopted Jazzy. Since then, Kirk has been diagnosed with dementia. Jazzy now has his service dog certification, I might add. There are things in life that are just meant to be. Blessings to B, Kirk, Michelle, and Jazzy. Well, isn't that a good story? That is lovely. Jazzy is a five pound Maltese and is already tucked in her dad's jacket. <laughs> I am a big dog person, but maybe your Goldie has spread her wings. <laughs> oh, that's, that's lovely. Good. That's a good story. That's a nice story. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the story department. Yes, thank you. American National. I wonder if this is anything to do with the demolishing of the Eagle House. Ooh. Could be. Three, no, they're looking for me to pay the bill. Uh -huh. They were going to keep me informed as to what they were doing about the 
that's a bit, there's a Judy thing. <laughs> Judy will be I'll back. Take, I'll take her, yes, poor Judy, she'll be going, oh, poor oh, Judy. Oh, oh. Poor Judy. <laughs> this is the Equine Rescue Network, so we'll open that one. Yes. Sorry, that's a Janine. Charities Aid Foundation. Ten dollars. Ooh, thank That's you. That's a bale of hay. It sure is. Thank you. Here's Hamacher Schlemmer. Ooh, look at that electric all-terrain ski scooter. We you, better. I better look at that one. You like that? Yes. Luxury home living. We'll give that one. Hey, uh, hold up. Did you say ski? Sc a yeah. Scooter. I did say that. Ah! That's why I thought I'd keep it. Uh, well, that's what's worrying me now. Claim your share now. Hope for horses. I'm not sure I understand this one. Oh, that looks like... That's uh, pig. Yes. That looks like we don't need to worry about that. Is that your official opinion? Yes. Got it. <sighs> PayPal tax operations. Oh, that's the tax um, for Janine's going to the accountant right. for ERN. Right, so exactly what is it? That's what they gave to PayPal. Yes. $7,200. Thank you. And we have Jan Gerhold, who mailed it on the 24th. Oh, that's quite quick. Okay, oh, there we go. Let me get that Thank one. Thank you very much. Lily Tomlin, the road to success is always under construction. Yep. Thanks to Frank Sinatra. The best revenge is massive success. I'm old enough to know better, but young enough to do it anyway. Some good yeah. ones in there. <laughs> Path to self care. I don't think I want to get into that one. No. We're managing just as we are, thank you. And this is current resident. Action required, open immediately. You're okay, it's Janine, it's a driving thing. What? It's one of these driving things. Bridges, tools. Is that what we're supposed to do? No, we leave it. We give it, to give, it to give, give it to Janine, thank you. Restaurant meals delivered straight to the... I better read that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we have Jan Girl again. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. The average person touches this five times per hour without realizing it. Their nose. That's true. Is it? Yep. One of the first two colors most often used in a box of crayon. Red. Yeah. Is and it? Red and blue. Black. Black. Survey found Monopoly is America's favorite board game. What is number two? Life. Who? Life. Clue. I never Clue. heard of it. There we go. Thank you. And then we have... 
insurance policy information. Put that someplace else. And then this is from Franny, my sister. Your sister. And that's the yearly accounting. She, she's very good at that crap. That's why she's. That's why she's. She's in charge of it. That's why she's in charge of it. Ain't no better to give it to me. Um, Oh my goodness. It's all handwritten. <laughs> Your handwriting has always been very nice too. Yes. That's what that's what did it that's what it is. Look at look at that handwriting. Yes. Before I get, oh, let's confiscate anyway, that. I'm going to put these in the Judy that's pile. That's got to go in my tax department. Where's that? Give it to Judy. Give it to Judy. <laughs> yeah. Poor Judy. She would always be so excited to be back with us. Poor Judy. I know. Oh, poor Judy. Well, let's just say, let's. We ought to have a be nice to Judy day. Yeah. Well, let's just hope Judy has had a very restful holiday. I cannot hear a word that woman is saying. Let's just hope. Judy has had a very restful holiday. She said she is getting slightly bored with not enough to do. Oh, fantastic. We've got that covered. <laughs> yes. She will be just right. You're not going to believe whose name's on this. Oh. Oh, of all things. Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> she quieted down, hasn't she? She has quieted down. She's trying to open the door. Yes. She's mad about the whole thing. Yeah. She's like, just you wait till Janine comes home on Wednesday. She'll hear about this. I know. I tell you what to do. Let's go and get her and put her back in the chair. And see if she'll, and see if she'll stay there now. Tell her she's going to get in the chair. You put the chair on now. In the chair. Chair. Wanda, get in the chair. Did Carly put her out after she'd had her dinner? Wanda, get in the chair. No. Nope. Put her, put her back in the grave. Right, back in. Come on, Come on Wanda. Good girl. In. Well done. She goes into the grave. You mean to go to the bathroom? She goes to the bathroom in here, so it's not going to work. Exactly. Okay. There we go. Oh. <laughs> We're going to attach a balloon to it so we don't lose her. Oh my word. Okay. Yep, we'll be popping that on her. So, oh, isn't, that, isn't that cute? Okay, shall we open it? Yes. Go ahead. I can take the box, you can have that. I wonder who that was from. I didn't see. No, and there's no label with it. Ugh. I don't think I did that right. I might want to do that right. There we go, you can have that. Part. This'll be good because when it's snowy, all you see is her head and her <laughs> the bit of her tail. Warning, what about warning? Warning, wonder. Do not attempt to leash. Huh? Do not attach a leash to the safety pup urban utility strap. That's fine. Never heard of we it. We never attach a leash to her anyway, so. We right. can do that. Right. Here you go. I make like she's a dog here. Yeah. I was just curious as to how how much we can double over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all still. A tremendous invention. Velcro. There you go. That'll fit. Oh yes. And we will not lose her. 
Thank you very much. That's actually very useful for you, madam. So now, this is another target box, and this is from Susan. Susan. From Susan. Thank it's you, Susan. Susan. Thank you very much. and soft and we have started giving these guys more because they seem to like to put their head on them. Is that funny? I'm, I'm watching, yes. And he does that with his big blanket, right. doesn't he? Yeah, so I've, uh, he's got an extra bunch in there too. So yes, we are using more of these now and you will see them get tossed around in there. And instead of washing them all the time, I'm gonna hang them out in the rain. Okay. Or in the, you know, in the wind. Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that. Things like that. Mm -hmm. They may come in frozen in shape, though. There you go. But right. they'll, me they'll melt soon enough. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right, you could even do it from the rafters. We could do a lot of things. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to take the bits off or want to leave them intact just now? Well, I was going to do it right now. Okay. Is that, is that it for packages? Yes. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. Just need to oh, do our questions. Ah. Uh. We have questions? Yes, I think so, I hope so. Otherwise we're speaking to ourselves. Hang on, did you say that you put Trask back in for, was it the 16th of February? Yes. Something like that, wasn't it? Yes. So we go to them roughly every two weeks or so? Right, something like that. That's a nice place to go to. It is a nice place to go to. This, this is, is George and Tom's. Look at that. Uh, no, I could eat any of that. It looks just I could like what we eat make. all of it. it. Looks like just like what we make. <laughs> right. Mm, dear. Yes, Velcro. Honestly, I've I've got dogs that like chewing on Velcro. Really? Yeah, I think it does. I think they like playing with their teeth. I've seen dogs go after things like remotes. Oh no! Have just... you been speaking to Nick? No. Why? Well, they, they got into the remote. So one of the the why they like the crackle? I don't know, but they like remotes. And it's that it's that plastic that shatters. Yes. It's not even chewy. No, it's and they're a, swallowing little bits of it, or you just don't know, and that's terrible. Well, the little bits of it also go into shards, and they end up in your feet. <laughs> Which is a bit of a pain. I'd rather have my feet than his belly. Well, it's yes. It's cheaper to get them out of my feet. Oh, well, yeah, this is true. But we've got one, one of the German Shepherd puppies, the older one, it, it, she's been through three remotes. And I did say to Nick, the remotes sit on the council, and there's a drawer underneath it. I said, just shove them in the drawer. And he's like... We've never had to do this before, and I'm like, okay. Uh, you do now. Well, so now they're in the drawer, um, and they're all they're, they're all fragmented at every end. Yeah. But he can still watch the football, so it's fine. Oh, good. What a relief. Otherwise, there would have been a catastrophe in our house. Apparently, the gentleman who invented Velcro died poor. I seem to remember a story about the gentleman that invented Velcro, and I can't remember what it was. It was it was done for a specific reason. Can you remember? I never no. heard of that one. Oh, maybe somebody will come up with it. I'd like to find the guy who invented the zipper. My God, those zippers—they work. They do. I have, I have no idea who invented the zipper. So you want somebody will tell us? I'm hoping. <laughs> Yes, you could have driven in the in the snow, Carla. It wasn't that bad, and the roads were very clear. Yeah. Um, is the wire protector speed bump handling the car traffic? That's a bit of a. That's a bit of a. It did. I thought it was. I don't see why it's not. It was doing really well until today. Well, people are going entirely too fast. Yeah. I watch. I haven't got anything else to do but watch the traffic up down the driveway. Yeah. Well, also, and 
to prove to myself and everybody that when you take Benadryl, your mind is not functioning very well. And one should not drive. <laughs> one should, well, no, that's not the reason. <laughs> the reason is I had 11 errors in one Sudoku puzzle. Ooh. 11 errors. I don't usually make any. But I did with, with I, I had three Benadryl overnight. You know, one, two, three, not all together. They're going to have to amend the warning. Do not drive cars, operate heavy machinery, or attempt Sudoku. And right. um, that, that will eradicate lots of frustration. Yep. It's a, it's funny when you see things like that happening because you think you're A-OK. -okay. Right. Well, no, I, 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 had, I had a feeling I was out to lunch, but uh, it, that certainly proved it. And yeah. then I say, now this is ridiculous. So I get it down, I say, and I, <laughs> <laughs> just about my head would hit the, you know, <laughs> the drugs are, they do amazing things. I know. They don't, however, stop the itching totally. No. But they do help. Well, and that's, that's a, that's, that's a start. At least it's going in one direction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Miss Momo is, uh, she's hanging on in there. Yeah. She's super muddy. Well, super it's gonna muddy. Get it's going to get worse where it gets better. Yeah. She just loves rolling in the mud. It's, uh, I don't understand why this is not winter more. No. I was, I can't remember. This is not winter yet. No. It's really not winter. I have, I was saying to Janine this morning, I haven't had gloves on yet. You have what? been wearing gloves yet. Well, do you know where a pair of gloves are? Right behind my c computer there. They'll be next. He'll have taken them off when he came in and popped them down. You better, yeah, I saw them there. They're nice leather gloves. You better take them back. Or are they sort of a, a burnt orangey leather? No. They're just nice leather gloves. All right. They must be next. Because he takes them off and puts them places and then can't find them. Oh. But it hasn't been winter yet. No. And whatever snow we've had has disappeared. In fact, we've kind of like hit mud season. Very yeah. early on, yeah, which is not pleasant because we'll also get it in springtime. So, well, not good. I do want to start driving that golf cart. If I take it up and down off that hill, it's going to be just slide. You won't need any power. Don't touch the don't touch the goal pedal because you <laughs> you'll be sliding. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I wonder if it's the noise. This lady's this lady's dog actually opens and closes Velcro. Oh, really? Yeah, I wonder if it's noise. Yeah, see, this is it. We do we do a good a good uh, destruction on toilet rolls as well. That's their other favourite. Yep. And uh, and yes, I, I actually had a dog that took my brand new glasses and they were prescription glasses and chewed them. Mm, yeah, that's I keep saying to myself, well, that'll teach me for, for leaving things lying around, but it doesn't stop no, it me. It doesn't, doesn't stop me, no. Oh, look, people have been ordering those egg cookers. I was telling people that, that the dog's got an egg as well, a beautifully cooked they egg, did. and they peeled beautifully. Yep, they did very well. Oh, Whitcomb L. Judson is most often created with the invention of the zipper, which he referred to as a side fastener or clasp locker. Hmm. Interesting. I do they find them. Mm -hmm. And then somebody said that Gideon Sunback invented the zipper in 1914. What are you using Benadryl for? What am I using Benadryl for? Two things trying to get a night's sleep and itch. I am covered. I am covered with itchy bumps. Yeah. Yeah. And they're horrible. They ruin my otherwise sunny disposition. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, your, and your glowing skin. And my glowing skin. <laughs> oh, oh on, dear. I tell you. Uh, the man who's been walking the horses recently, he's called uh, Cam, and he uh, is we're getting the horses, uh, or he is getting the horses ready. 
into a program and they'll, he'll be working with uh, children with autism and that program will, I want, will start. I want to get that baby donkey up on the shelf here. Yeah. By my, my shelf. Has that got a gate? It has got a gate. It's got a gate at the top of the ramp, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can open the door as well. Really. You can open the door and the donkey can come in. in where it's warm. Yeah, exactly. Please, she's bad. She knows it. Want to try her again at the chair? Yes. Right, you. At some point, she's got to realize she's supposed to stay in that chair. But this is one hard-headed dog. And get in the chair. Come on, Wanda, in the chair. Come on. Come on. Wanda, get in your chair. Come on, Wanda. Wanda, get in your chair. Wanda, in the chair. Go on, get in your chair. Get in the chair. Good girl, get up there. Go on. Get up in the chair. Can you pick her up and put her in the chair? Sure thing. Hey. She'll bite you. She doesn't bite. Come on, Mikael. There you go. Now stay there. Hey. Good girl. If she gets down, she's got to go right back in the cage. Okay. I'll just Stay. I'll just good girl. Stand That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Don't look at me like that. You can lie down. That'd be good. You stay up in that chair. No, oh, no, no, no. Get up in that chair. Get in the chair. She thinks you're a softie. Put her in the chair. <laughs> she's got your number. Put her in the cage and dump. Watch the chair in the cage. Which would you Try the chair one more time. This we're doing this for the general public too. Stay. No. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. That's good. No, there's no, no, no. Put her in the cage. So, I don't actually know the answer to this. Are people allowed studded tires in ME? On their cars? I believe so. Because I know. Uh, there are places they're not allowed. Yes. I, I think that people don't use them as a matter of course. They use winter tires, don't they, that have got deeper grooves? Well, they have that, yes. But they do. There are studded tires. Yeah. Is that, not, is that the same as, as uh, tire chains? No, it's not the same thing, no. 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 Tire chains are chains you put on put the on tires. Yeah. Studs are studs you put in. <laughs> I have never seen any, so that would be interesting. Yeah, Carla. You haven't felt winter until you've done minus 40, what was it, minus 47 last year? What? Carla was saying it sure felt like winter when they de-iced her plane yesterday. I said, I said, but you haven't you haven't felt winter until it's been minus forty-seven because oh. that was our that was our record day last year. That was the one when you couldn't open your mouth; you had to have something covering your mouth, otherwise you were free. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I think I had gloves on that day. Oh, well, now this lady Martha, she is asking. Uh, what talk, what projects Janine and I have got for when she comes back and uh, we've got lots of projects lots of projects I don't know yes we're down in we're down in huts we're finishing off siding and things like that at the moment so that will be good fun I can't believe this so this lady's saying her dog likes screwdriver handles and that was the other yeah. thing the dog chewed See, my dog should be staying with everybody else bar me. Honestly, yes, screwdriver handles. And do you know the other thing she chewed? And I'm lucky it was this. We have a big, a big, you know the big carving knife we have? Oh, yeah. She chewed the handle of that. So every time you go to use it, it's like, ow, ow, ow. So I think I'll take a bit of sandpaper did over you, that. Did you find the, the knife sharpener yet? Uh, no. No. You know, you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah. It's a 
Spire. Oh, no, I haven't found that one. No, with a, it has a bone handle. It's not in that, it's not in it, that house. It could be, it could be in 25, I don't know. <laughs> but it could be still hanging on the wall. It's not hanging on the wall that That's much because I yeah. checked there. What's for dinner? We got the rest of my hamburger. Your hamburger. It's got to take the tin foil off it to heat it up. Well, who, I, I love a bit of sparking in the microwave. Ah. Uh. Yes, I think Betty's food has all been consumed or frozen. What is this? Betty's, Betty's food. food yeah. It has. Thank you so very much. No, I don't think this is eczema because, in fact, are we not going to the dermatologist on Wednesday? That's where I'm going Wednesday. Well, that'll be super fun. I could hardly wait. <laughs> well, we were, <laughs> we, were I'm actually, awake enough. we were actually there last Wednesday until they redirected us. Well, that's right. <laughs> yes. Well, I think Carlene did have fun today, but did you have fun today? I did. She did. I was out. Yes, she was out. I was out working. Yes. Making people laugh. She was straight down that hill. Yep. That's a big truck. Oh, that must be an Amazon truck. That's the Amazon. They come late now. They do. I think we've been through allergy, uh, allergic reactions to um, washing tablets and everything. We think it's um, it could be... Stress. Yes. Stress is, I'm sure, what it is. Yes. So, because that's just part parcel of life at the moment, we're trying to find something to alleviate the scratching. Well, I have doctors ordering me to get rid of any stress. That doesn't give you a carte blanche to... <laughs> <laughs> we should let just, me, we should just clarify that. <laughs> let me tell you what. And then I have that friend up there in Vermont who was married to the Greek mafia. Yeah. <laughs> she, she keeps offering me solutions. <laughs> I know, I know. But that could actually open up a whole new, new form of stress. Well, you know... We gave a we gave a dog to a guy. I thought he was a, I thought he was a a veteran. Uh huh. He wasn't. He was mafia. He got shot. <laughs> in the back of his head. Yeah, he still got the dog. Is he? Yeah, he's from Boston. And then, you know, after he'd had the dog, I, I think I was probably the one that gave it to him. Whatever. Um, how did you How did you miss that? Well, I didn't. You don't ask him, who shot you? I, you don't say that. You just assume it was the army. At least I did. Does this gentleman go out and do talks? Does he what? Does he go out and do promotional speaking? So. Yes. Yes, he's out of the he's out of the mafia now. Yes. That's probably why they shot him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But he's doing a hell of a job with the dog. Oh, dear. Excellent. Mine is not to question why. No, no, no. This lady is saying, I have three hard-headed dogs. And she tells people that they're impossible to train, but she knows it's her own lack of consistency and discipline that's to blame. Yeah. I think, uh, and I think one of the other things is, you know, Wanda's got everybody in. Everybody waits on her, and this is bad, because she doesn't list worth a damn. And it's been worse now that Janine's been gone so long. Yeah. She's... She she uh, she plays on people's emotions. That's what she does. Yeah, right. It's like a, I'm a poor small dog. Right. The she's, holy terror. She is. But she's full personality, and we love her. So, hey. She's got to work for a living. No free rides. Well, she actually thought just by being there, it was fine. There was a gentleman. She, she didn't amuse anybody today. She was tagging around after you. There was a there was a gentleman there, and all he kept shouting was Wanda, Wanda, and she went over, jumped up, and went yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he was delighted. How's your elbow doing? My elbow is surviving. It's filling up again. I've got this great sack hanging off it. Oh, dermatology on Wednesday. That's right. Such fun. No, I. I, I that's orthopedic, actually. Oh, is it? I got one of those coming up, too. Oh, we should, maybe, 
maybe take sandwiches with us. We might be there a while. <laughs> That's right. Take a packed lunch. Ooh. Speaking of packing, yes. Colleen, who's a golden warrior. Yes. You got that part? Yes. That's a good, that's a good thing. At any rate, she has found this bag woman who has a bag. She's designed what, about what I was trying to design on the back of a, dog, a horse. Um, she makes them for all size horses, but she has minis. And I, so I wrote to Colleen and said, by all means, go get one. And if, if they don't want to pay it with the fun fund, I will pay it personally. Yes. But also, you were trying to work out, you'd ask uh, Colleen to work out, does it need the crouper? No, this does, this is this this is all set. It's even better. Yes, I don't think it needs to have anything added. Um, what I might add to it is, I might get a pack saddle, mm -hmm. so we could hang funny things off the donkey. That would be interesting, and we would use it for the pack burrow race thing. Yes, that would be super. Fun. I have a pack saddle somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be at Meredith. Is it, it the one with the leather straps? Beautiful leather, brown leather. Yeah, about that thick. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Meredith. Well, take care of it. It cost me, what, five fifty, five hundred fifty dollars Well, now you tell me it's a valuable piece. Yes, it's valuable. To me, it's valuable. It smells good. <laughs> I, put I, it, like, I like the smell of leather. I've put it on Jasper. I've got a picture of Jasper oh, really? wearing it. And it was Earth Day, and we took um, empty feed bags and we just rolled the rolled the rim of it down and hung it on either side and we went along the roads with pickers and we filled up the, the, the empty bags and then we, we dumped it. Ugh. I can tell you Jasper was not a willing participant, but he was like, whatever. Yes. Collies are collies are um Collies are very good. Who? Collies. We used to call them border collies. You know the black and white collies yeah, yeah. that do the sheep trials? Yeah. Yeah. My grandfather had one. And this is Lady uh, Fluffy. She's saying that she had two and she had no problems like the problems we're talking about. <laughs> but I know that I've very definitely got a neurotic German shepherd. And she chews on everything. Yeah. You know? You can actually be sitting there and she'll be chewing on the ankle, on, on the, you you know, your boot. You're like, ah. She just needs to be doing something with her mouth all the time. She's the one that keeps bringing in all your dog bones that have been through the oh, rugs. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very pleased with herself. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Northeast Canine has built their new place for the dogs. That is super. What happened? They have built a new place for the dogs. Well, that's great. They've put a new space? They have built somewhere for the dogs. Who? Oh. Northeast Canine. Oh, good. That's absolutely super, isn't it? Good. Megan, Megan's a good trainer. Yes. You She's have said that many I times. I have no problem with Megan's training. She's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you've got to say that because you trained her, though. I did. <laughs> <laughs> She was doing really, really, really well before she started taking other people's advice. Yes. But she'll come back to it. She will. She'll work it out. I'm sure she's got it worked out. Where, where, is, where, is, she, where is she camped out, do we know? I don't know. I, I, I know I, when I was down there in Tennessee, Ben Megan came in and made us breakfast one day. And you had a barbecue. In the barbecue? Yeah. Ooh, well, fine. Have you tried your wooden Sudoku board? No, I have not. That that Sudoku board, to protect it, I'm going to use it only down at the elder care place. Okay. Because I cannot open it up and have all those little chips around here. They wouldn't last five minutes. Yes. So I think to preserve it in its natural whatever, it would be nice to have down there. So I'm going to go down there with it. Well, that would be nice. I can't believe somebody is suggesting that Wanda's spoiled. <laughs> Look at her glaring at us. I know. <laughs> if looks could kill. <laughs> yes. And Dawn here is saying that the fun fund would be a great idea for that bag for the dog. I think it would be. Yeah. 
it, 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 because also, I hate to say this, but the, she says it works on goats. Without horns, obviously. Well, that's not a problem. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, then, would it be adjustable enough to go from the mini horse to the donkey to the goats? Yes, I think so. Well, that would be even better. It, it looks, it's just a bunch of straps. Yep, and a bag. And a bag. Carleen, you to invent a pill that you can give to donkeys so the poop comes out foil wrapped. There you go. <laughs> Wouldn't be very good on, on compost heaps though, but apart from that, yes. Are you still making monkey fists? I am making monkey fists. Excellent. I am making monkey fists. Carla just died 12 of them. Excellent. So that means we're, we're, we're due a hospital visit then, does it? Yeah, there they are. They're up on the, see they're drying out up there. They are drying out up there. Yes, it does seem to be a German Shepherd trait about chewing things. <sighs> but anyway, we get there. Okay, now are you going to take, you're going to take... I'm taking him. Him down to Ma Meredith tonight? Mm -hmm. I'll take her with me as well if you want. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with her. <laughs> he won't, he won't pick on her. It's just, it, no, she they, they irritates they this guy. Yeah, I'm going to go and put gas in the car as well. That'd be good. We'll in my a, car. Yeah, we'll do a circle. That'd be fun. I know. Listen, I really like to live the life and then I'm going home for my ready-made meal from Costco. Oh, okay. That consists of salad. Uh, uh, I can't eat salad, or not much. It's the K, the vitamin K. Oh, I should start telling people that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Too much vitamin K in that for me. <laughs> oh, dear. How was your breathing? Breathing? Is, I, work, I, I can breathe. I've almost forgotten that you had a problem with your breathing. It's been pretty good. <laughs> That's because I'm sitting around doing not too much. Well, you, you get me running up and down the hill, I'll be out of breath. No, oh, but you were fine today. Yeah. You did a really good job. Oh. I think. Henny Penny is Wednesday. Yeah, give, it, give it a little bit of a boost. I do like to have it come up. I like yeah. to have it just a little bit more every time. Yeah, because Janine was saying, oh my gosh, this will come to me. Janine was saying with this Henny Penny we were wanting to achieve something. Oh, it's the rickshaws. She wants to get them back up because she wants the rickshaw program going by April. She's nuts, but that's not the first time. I'm just I've going designed. to say that's a family treat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a, uh, it's uh, we, we, we'd like to get that so we could take people out and about on them. I'm really hoping she's not got me sort of like... Well, I'm, I'm wondering who, who, who besides Janine is going to run five miles, you know? Cycle. Cycle. It's the bike ones. It's the bike one? Yeah. That's slightly I'll put the donkey on it. I'll put a donkey on it, exactly. Get rid of the bike. Uh, yeah, Wanda and Jiminy are, are quite the team. There are no senior visits tomorrow. The next senior visit, I think, is on Friday. What's it? There's no senior visits tomorrow. I don't think so. No. And then we're going to the hospital on Wednesday. Wednesday. And then I'm not sure what's happening on Thursday. And there's there's a visit. I'm sure it's on... I'm sure it's on... I'm not going to rip that. Thursday. Friday. Yes. Friday is still January. No. Is it? Not. What day am I? No, I'm on the 29th today. What? It's the 29th today. Is it really? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, in fact, it might be Thursday. I think it might be Thursday. There's... I can't read that writing. It says Peabody. Oh, that could be an appointment. I shall have to examine that. Janine will be back. We'll be fine. All organised. Yes. The, we were there for, what, about an hour today? What? Were we there at the visit for about, about an hour? hour? Yeah. It was good. 
And they enjoyed every minute we were there, too. They think they were super? Yeah, it really, it's, it's fun. I mean, it, you know, you're making people happy that really yeah. aren't too happy. I know. It's a, it's a really... There were very few in there that didn't react. There was one guy asleep. Yes. And the woman in the corner, we finally went over to her, and she participated. And she's scared of dogs. And she's afraid of dogs, yeah. Mm -hmm. But she was asking all sorts of questions about them. Yeah. And, you know, she kept saying, they're so beautiful, they're so beautiful. And well-behaved. Yes. That's what does it, because it, I don't like them coming up and sticking their face. Yeah. And he's been better. Yeah. There's a lot of people that ask him, Marky, to put his head in their lap. Yeah. They seem to like that. It would be nice if we could video some of those visits, but I'm not sure that we're we able. Can't. No, I don't think we can. That's the thing. It's, uh, and that's why I was thinking it was so nice for Carla to be there to actually see, you know, a, a fresh yeah. pair, of, pair of eyes, seeing what the dogs actually do and their reaction to the dogs. Yeah. Because you don't really realize just how big an impact they have until you see it yourself. And I know that's a very difficult thing to say, but it, it really is. So, we have done Monday. Oh. You're just chomping at the bit to get your burger. Uh, my burger. So yes. I am going to, we can sign off, okay. and then we'll be back tomorrow, and we'll get burgers. Woohoo! If we're spared. If we're spared overnight, yeah. <laughs> if we're spared.